Hello, my name is Paul Calvano. Uh, during this video and some of the upcoming videos, I'm going to walk you through how to access data behind the Chrome user experience report in BigQuery. So we're going to start off with a brand new Google account. So if you've never used Google Cloud, you'll be able to follow along from the beginning. Uh, the, in the following videos, we'll explore how to actually work with some of the data, building histograms and comparison tables and, and, and so forth. But in order to get started, the first thing you need to do is access the data. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know, complete the setup for Google Cloud. Um, if you have never logged into Google Cloud before, you, the, you'll, you can use your Google account or create a new Google account, as I've done here, in order to access Google Cloud. Um, if it's the first time that you're logging into Google Cloud, you'll be prompted to accept the terms and conditions. And then you'll notice that um, you're, uh, you'll notice that you have a $300 free credit if you enable billing. Uh, although you don't need to enable billing for this uh, um, uh, for this for for, for, the, for this uh, um, demonstration because we're not going to exceed one terabyte of data processing. So if I click select product, there's uh, there's no pro there's there, there's no projects here. I'm going to click uh, um, the add button so that I can add a new project. I'm going to call it Crux. I'm going to click create, and now I have a project. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go into the BigQuery um, into into the BigQuery console. And once I'm in BigQuery, you'll notice that the project name that I created is displayed, but there's no tables because it's a brand new project. And there's a list of public data sets, but none of those public data sets um, contain any, any of the Crux data. So in order to access the, the data behind Crux, we'll need to add the tables for Crux. So what we're going to do is in this drop down um, just to the right of the Crux, um, project ID, we're going to click switch to project and then display project. And then you'll have uh, a text box here where you can enter a project ID. There's no search functionality here, um, so you can't search for pro um, projects that you're looking for. You simply need to enter the project that you want to add, which in this case is Chrome UX report with dashes between Chrome uh, um, and UX and dashes between UX and report. If I click OK, then you'll notice that the uh, the data set is is now been added to my account, and I can expand this and see all of the data in all of the tables. Uh, there's a, a data set for, um, for uh, an overall data set called all, and then there's a data set for every country code. Um, and then in the in each data set, you'll see data tables for every month. And in this case, you'll see uh, the latest month is April 2018. And we'll walk through some of the, the table structures shortly, but you can also see that the um, April uh, 2018 data was, uh, was loaded in, uh, on May 4th. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, the next video we'll talk about um, the structure of some of this data so that we can uh, understand that before we start querying it.